Darrell Davey. DD, give it up for Darrell. Yeah, that's right. I'm the black Hulk Hogan in this bitch. I hate white people. Especially in a private conversation on the phone with my girlfriend that I'm about to break up with. If she says, if she, if she, if she tattles on me, fuck that. Girls shouldn't be tattling on people yeah. that are racist on the phone, yeah. especially when it's their boyfriends. I don't believe in that. A man should be able to say whatever he wants on the telephone. That's why I say I'm the black Hulk Hogan, because if the guy doesn't like black guys, he doesn't like black guys. Who gives a fuck? Just don't say the N-word, man. All right? I'm black. I don't even say the N-word that much. And for my friends who know me, yes, I'm from the suburbs. I'm just like Eminem. He's a black kid from the ghetto. I'm a white kid from the suburbs. We're the same. <laughs> There's no difference. The only difference is I kind of sound like Tiger Woods and Barack Obama, okay? But he <laughs> loves rap music. I love rap music. He spits when he talks. I spit when I talk. A little less now because it doesn't work out so well with digging. <laughs> he fucks anything that walks. I fuck anything that walks. So that probably means we're both bisexuals, right? <laughs> and also animal sexuals. Because if you fuck anything that walks, that means you fuck everything. That means you also fuck animals. You probably also fuck squirrels. Chipmunks. Did I fuck the chipmunks last week? Yes, I did. Did I fuck the Chippendale Rescue Rangers? Yes, I did. The Chippendale Rescue Rangers, for all you kids who were born in the year 2000 and after, I can't talk to you, I don't like you. That was a TV show with chipmunks that talked. Chippendale Rescue fucking Rangers, not Double XL with, with freaking Channing Tatum. All right? Anyway, you know what I mean? I want to talk about cats. Because cats have a stereotype. And not just any type of cats. Let me tell you what type of cats have a stereotype. Black cats. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> black cats. You got a problem with black cats? You got a fucking problem? How come it's the black cat that messed up? How come it's the black cat that, oh, you don't want to walk under the ladder? You don't want to see those motherfuckers at night? How come it's the black cat that's got to be in the streets? That's a stereotype. <laughs> I love black cats, motherfuckers. Fuck white cats. How come it's always the white cat that's in the scary movie doing crazy shit? You don't ever see no black cats in the movies do crazy shit, except for scary movie. Except for that. That was that one black cat that got pissed off out of all that stereotypes, all that. You know what I mean? I prefer black cats. You know what I mean? I might go to Petco today, tonight, and get five black cats so I can be with my homies. You know what I mean? <laughs> I live like that, that's how we roll, <clears throat> you know what I mean? If I see a white cat, I'm gonna be racist all over his face, you know what I mean? Fuck white cats, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I just wanna know, you know, one thing I was thinking about, cause I love music, I love rap, I love singing, was that, you know, sometimes just the most random people put out a mixtape or a CD, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, Paris Hilton put out a CD, Kim Kardashian has a CD, that's hilarious, right? So does uh, the little girl, Kylie. Kylie, Kylie Jenner has an album. That's great, right? Everybody has an album. My dog has an album. His name's Scruffy. It's called Scruff McGruff on these nuts. Everybody, right? The Pope put out a mixtape I heard on the radio. I don't know if it was true or not, so don't quote me, Francis Pope. Someone else is talking about the Pope. If you're out there and you find me, look, I don't have anything against you, man. I just don't think you could rap, okay? I don't think you should be saying, uh, I'm an old white guy living in a mansion in, a, uh, in the church, and I just want to, uh, let me put out a rap CD like I'm Jay-Z, like I'm Biggie. Dude, I know and we know you can't rap. What are you thinking? What 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 like are you, what, what, what came over you? Um, you know, um, I'm sitting here at the mass and you know, um, there, I'm sitting in this church by myself and I think I could sell some records. I think I could drop a mixtape. It's it's Pope. I mean, dope. Um, I've been looking at my Twitter followers and my Instagram followers and I want to uh, you know increase my popularity or my popularity. Um, let me see what this Jay Z character is doing. No, you can't do it, man. I can barely rap. I've been rapping since I was like five. And I only have a short amount of time here though. But one thing I want to also talk about, since we're on the subject of rap, is Power 106. Now why do you have a problem with radio stations, Darrell? Because all they do is talk up a song. All they do is talk. They don't play music. They're supposed to play music. I call them Power 106. dicks, long story short. I don't call them Power 106. Because every time they have a world premiere of a song, they let you know what you're thinking. They let the streets know. They say, y'all ain't ready for this. I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of ready. Y'all ain't ready. We got to prepare the streets. Prepare the streets? What the fuck are you talking about? There's realer shit going on in the streets than a song playing on the radio. We're ready. 
We were ready five minutes ago. No, y'all ain't ready. And then when they're about to play it, or you think they are, they stop it and rewind it while they're talking about their kid's soccer game over the, over the, over the, over the beat. Yeah, yeah, I just took my kid to soccer practice. He killed that shit, yeah. I mean, this song's dope. The streets ain't ready, y'all. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ain't ready. And then when they finally play it, they play the beginning, and then they cut off your favorite rapper's verse. Those motherfuckers. <laughs> Those motherfuckers, they cut off Eminem's verse. They cut off Jay-Z's verse. The best yeah. rappers ever. All right? And, 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 and then they play a whack-ass song from the 70s afterwards. Like they play a T-Pain song from like 1955 or something. <laughs> and anyway, the last thing I want to say is I don't like racist people. Donald Sterling's a racist. He said he doesn't want to see black people at basketball games. It's like me saying I don't want to see white people at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going for Daily, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. We got one more comedian, the last one. Give it up for Steve Hansen, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Hansen, bring it home.